how are you doing? This is our series Studio Talks, and uh, like I've mentioned before, we have really great artists in the studio uh, doing work and so on and so forth. If we catch a second and we'd like to talk to them, ask a few questions, introduce them to uh, you guys out there. And so today we have Ryan Wilcox. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. How much fun? So good, so good. Uh, let me just sort of uh, talk uh, about... Let me just say something, I guess, from the beginning, which is that I really love you as an artist. We've worked together on several projects, a few studio records, and I've just always really admired you as a songwriter, so I'm very excited to have you here today. Well, thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry. I know that was an uncomfortable moment of doting, but uh, but nevertheless, there it is. I felt it in my heart, and so I, I said it. Uh, I, I think it would be cool, uh, like I've done in the past on some of these, if we just like let everybody know out there, so how did you get started? Like, What was the sort of the, the, the switch that was clicked over for you when you were like, I want to do music, and sort of what was that progression like? How did that look for you? I just remember being very interested in music from a young age. Um, I grew up, again, my stepdad owns Roughwood Studios. Yeah. Uh, so I was always around musicians, and we'd go out and watch these guys play that uh, came into the studio. Um, I just always remember wanting to do it, and after I got a driver's license, I just started booking shows and going yeah. places, any place that would let me in. Yeah. Uh, and then whenever I was about 21 uh, is when I started playing with Colton Moore. Yeah, and right. kind of went to... A different level of like okay sure. like i'm gonna start doing this a little more oh seriously. this is the way shows are actually supposed to yeah. work and yeah. yeah right that kind of put everything together for me uh but so what it. was it like for you for like um like when did you how did you learn how to play like what how, how was that for you were you one of those guys that just grabbed a guitar and it sort of made sense or did you take lessons or what was that like for you i i kind of picked around on them and uh could do a few things. I took lessons for a few months uh, from a guy who, in the end, he was just like, "You've got it. You just need to practice." Like, yeah, just sort of. I kind of showed this. you everything that I can show you. Yeah, you know? right. And uh, so I just kept playing. I mean, that yeah. was when I was eleven years old, so twenty-one years ago. Yeah. So for you, you know, because you said you started playing with Colton Moore, but you had already been had been doing shows, and so so for you, it wasn't that sometime during when you were playing with Colton Moore, you realized, oh, I think I can write music and I can sing. You really already knew oh, that, didn't no. you? Oh no, yes, I I played in um, I played in a couple of little bands when I was in high school, but yeah. I um, I started writing writing songs shortly after I was playing guitar. Yeah, um, right. I just kind of... It's hard to explain. I just felt the urge to do yeah, that. Like, right. I'd be there playing guitar, and uh, instead of playing stuff that somebody else had been playing, I was always coming up with my own right. little riffs and sure. chord progressions and stuff. And so I started writing lyrics. Yeah. Because uh, I've always I've always enjoyed the lyrics in songs. Sure. Um, and I wanted to... You they wanted to do that. Own. You wanted yeah. you wanted to contribute to all the stuff that you'd always uh, yeah, so I, been moved by. I yeah. wrote uh, I wrote songs and put out a few little uh, glorified demo CDs whenever right. I was in high school. And um, how were those recorded? Did, was that your stepfather that recorded those? One of them, okay. yes, one of them. Uh, the other ones I I did myself, and they were not good. <laughs> <laughs> they were not good at all. Well, that's good. I mean, that, you gotta you gotta sort of get the ball rolling some sort of way. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what you're doing. You know, now with some of the releases, like I said, we've worked on, I guess, two studio albums and a couple of live records at least, and we've even got we're working today on finishing up your new studio album that isn't out yet so that's pretty cool yeah. so talk a little bit about some of what you've been doing I guess what I maybe talk to us a little bit about your evolution as an artist how did you see yourself like in the early part of uh, your career when you were Ryan Wilcox and you were putting out records kind of from then until now what does that development look like uh, how do you feel about the kind of music you're putting out now and so on I feel like it's definitely evolved um when I was first putting out those solo records in 2014, 
I believe is when the first one came out. Right. Uh, I was I had had an idea for kind of a, a folk rock vibe that I was going for. Yeah. Um, I've stuck with something that's comparable to a folk rock vibe. It still feels rootsy. Yeah. It's um, my idea for it has just gotten bigger. Yeah. A little louder. Yeah. Uh, not as much acoustic guitar. Yeah. Um, we haven't been afraid. It seems like on the last few records to uh, to add in textures and layers, maybe that yeah. that we uh, that you hadn't done before. We we uh, yeah. I guess sort of just felt the freedom to explore some to of make those it areas. bigger, just yeah. a bigger sound and a have it a little more in your face. That way, those uh, right. lyrics that I do write have something behind it that'll yeah. Like I said, just kind of hit you in the face. Yeah. Um, I have a question about your songwriting, you know, because one of the things that I've always really admired about you as a songwriter is your songs, they don't feel superficial at all. They feel really earnest. And uh, and I've said to you before, you know, that I think the way you sing and even the way you play guitar, uh, it really emotes. I mean, you really sort of get the sensation that, uh, that you really mean these things. And so how is that... Uh, is that something that is just unconscious for you, or uh, does that uh, is something that you sort of think about when you're writing? You know, what does that look like for you? It really is unconscious. Um, like I said, and, and we even talked about it a little bit earlier that uh, for me, playing playing guitar is just a means to an end. It's I, I wanted to I wanted to write lyrics, and mm-hmm. it's it's always weird you have people come up like hey i wrote a song and they just start singing and they're right. like not playing and you're like right. i don't know what to think because it's not <laughs> right there's no context to yeah. what you're doing so that was just kind of the the guitar gives the lyrics that i'm writing out of emotion yeah uh, it just gives them context and yeah so, i'm kind of the same way as far you know let's say as a listener uh for me you know if the music if the, the context, as you call it, is right, then I can hear the words. You know, like the words open up to me. Right. And if I don't have that context, if the music isn't moving me, then I don't even hear the words, you know. And so I think uh, I think that's a really interesting point that, you know, you sort of regarded the music as a context for these words that you were wanting to say. And, uh, yeah, that's really cool. That's interesting. Right well, having said all of that about songwriting and songs and context and so on and so forth, do you have a song for us today? Yeah. What are you going to sing? I need to go get my guitar. No, we'll get that in a minute here. (laughs) (laughs) But Um, you do have one for us? Yeah, I'll sing one off my last record. Uh, It's called What a Fool Love Was. I can't wait. What a Fool Love Was, Ryan Wilcox. Turn out the big back Set the alarm on your phone No more waiting at the end of a long day Oh, you never felt so alone So impatient, but it just felt so right Then you watched it go up in smoke Walking away with everything he could take Boy, you left you flat, busted on the road Wolves to sneak up on you dressed like sheep They can smell the vulnerability in your blood Love tried to tell you that you someone to keep Oh, what a fool love was A little time off and a whole lot of heartaches Got you feeding yourself again Hold your way through the waves of sorrow Just trying to prove you could swim When you were cold and you were soaked to the bone When you finally washed up on the shore Holding on to nothing like a fistful of sand Oh, it ain't the type of thing you can force Kicking your feet and clawing at the water It was all that you could do to keep your head above the 
love tried to tell you that you weren't going under Oh, but what a fool love was Kicking your feet and clawing at the water It was all that you could do to keep your head above Love tried to tell you that you weren't going under Oh, but what a fool love was What a fool love was